Do it again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, son, when he get. Don't record him, bro. Oh, don't record him. Yeah. He's. Oh man, he must be wanted. He must be wanted. So, this is the dog that I was talking about. I might be getting him. I think I am. I just got to figure out how he is with other dogs. Come on, boy. I'm actually going up to the corner store. A little outdoor-ish. Come on. All right. I'm going to hold him from this way. Because... I don't know how he's going to react to other dogs. I was told that he could be aggressive. Yeah. I told he I was told that he could be mildly aggressive to other uh, dogs. Uh, but the uh, previous owners were saying that he just wags his tails a lot. A lot when he see and then growls. So normally that's a little bit of mixed uh, feelings here with dogs and human. We got an Uber driver. Uber driver. You want to say hi? Hi. Oh, easy, easy. Don't be afraid, all right? Yeah. He don't like cigarettes. And lighters. Yeah. Yeah. Look, watch. Look, hey, buddy. Usually he'll he'll fling his head. Watch, buddy, 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 look. <laughs> you see? Gotta run. Have a good one. You too. Welcome back to an epic journey across America. I don't know why I said that. Hey, stay, stay, stay. Good boy. I'm trying to readjust you. Stay. All right, so we encountered like two to three dogs so far. And first uh, time, I did not know what to expect. He, he was yanking, pulling. Second time he did it, he was more a little bit collective and still doing the same thing. He was reversing instead of uh, going towards the dog, uh, the dogs. Uh, instead of going towards the dogs, it was more like he was trying to get out of a situation that never ever happened. So whatever happened in his youth uh, was pretty traumatic for him to go backwards. He wanted to say hi to the dogs, but didn't know how to properly say hi. Because every time he probably said hi when he was in his youth, he got attacked for it. So... Um, that right, the, um, that right there tells me he's not aggressive, he's just unsure how to approach another dog. Because every time he approached a dog, he probably got attacked for it. So, that's going to be a process, but very manageable. That's very manageable. He didn't try to go towards the dog, he didn't say, ar, 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 like an attack wise. So, we're going to ha have a little work day with him. Actually, never ever let a dog be on the roadside. It's always in the inside. And never let a dog go in front of you. Always let it be at, at a side of you. Leadership is the best when, when it comes to humans. Leadership... It's the best. You got to let the dog know that you're in charge. Always. All right. I know this is a piss poor judgment skills here, but um, we got the interstate. We're going to try to see what happens. This is uh, 210. We got semis, loud cars. Come on, buddy. Prove it. Prove it that you can handle it. Uh, 
Let's go. Ah. Come on, buddy. Buddy. Up. 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 Come on. Up. He can't get through. Come on, buddy. Up. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. This is one of the uh, uh, trainings I do to the dogs to see if they can handle loud noises. He's doing good. He's doing pretty good, guys. Hey, buddy, buddy, buddy bear, up, search, look, hey, buddy. All right, well, he's past it, he's past it. Um, he's not caring. The real goal is to have semis right next to him, buzzing. There we go, we got a flatbed tow truck. Not bad, he didn't flinch. He didn't do anything. Nice. Nice. All right. Looks well, come on. Not bad, not bad boy. Not bad boy. <laughs> All right, come on. That was good. That was good. Seeking attention. He's done good. Always praise him when they do good. Good boy. Now we gotta go up the hill. Hell yeah. All right, now we're gonna stop real quick. So like if I'm hitchhiking, all right, this is how I'm gonna do if I'm hitchhiking, hold him like that. Nice. He's not flinching. He's not even focused. Good boy. All right, all right, all right. He's good. He is awesome. Hell yeah. I guess the dog is no go. Um, the owner's roommate uh, went ape shit. So uh, I'm never. You know, if the guy, if anybody that sounds I'm a little bit crazy. I'm done dealing with it, man. Out here hitchhiking and you're looking for a dog, it's the best to buy a dog if you have the money to buy a dog. Unfortunately, uh, it costs money to get animals and to have animals. But the problem of trying to get a free dog off of a batshit crazy person, uh, well, the owner of the dog said, hey, man, you can have the dog. But his roommate went batshit on me, so I said, fuck it. But anyway, it was worth a shot, though. I'll see you in the GIF. I gotta make my way up. I got enough money to get the hell out of here. See you in the GIF. I'm gonna try to catch the bus to uh, see how far I can get. And I want to get a little bit farther than I was when I first got on the bus. It's only a dollar seventy-five, but I can manage to get that somehow, some way. Um, I got a lot of people. I got a, a few people on um, on uh, S friends of Slab City uh, calling me a thief, which I'm not. Uh, which I'm not. I don't do any th any of that behavior. Out of my twelve to thirteen years of hitchhiking. And being on the Appalachian Trail, I've never, ever, once in my life, stolen anything while I'm on my journeys. 
I've either asked for it or worked for it. Um, this is girl or a couple accusing me because they flat out don't like me for some odd dumb reason. And, you know, I have no problem with that. Just don't go around telling people I'm a thief or somebody else is a thief because you just blatantly don't like them. You know, you just get people like that out here, man. And, well, if that's going to cause me trouble, I'm going to stay away from Slab City because they're going to believe her over me because she's a little bit more respected over there. I'm just some slob off the sli off the streets. I've never stolen from anybody that helped me. I have never once for in my life. And it's kind of irritating. You know, trying to defend your name is well worth it when you got somebody lying. Lying completely. But for as that dog in reality, I, uh, I could use him for protection, but in reality, I just don't want to go through the drama of who said who can have the dog and stuff, because that's, that's a little bit irritating, very irritating. Normally, I don't talk bad about people at all. But the way the guy, the guy was talking to me, it had, I'm not, I'm not mean, I'm not aggressive, but I have bipolar depression, bipolar disorder. And it just automatically rings a bell to be aggressive when paper demanding crap that is unnecessarily appropriate like me personally I can give two shits about his YouTube channel that he's trying to create I can I can give two shits what he's trying to do it's not my fault he's procrastinated like this morning he woke my ass up at two o'clock in the morning for no reason he and then when I woke up, he said, no, you, you woke yourself up. I'm like, how the hell did I wake myself up when you're com making a lot of commotions? You know, I just don't deal with drama anymore, man. I don't like it. My heart does not want it. Ah. But anyway, we're gonna continue to San Francisco with and without a dog. This is in the vicinity of where I last left off without recording. So anyway, I'm going to pursue this area. Um, bus routes or any kind of routes that are met, uh, metro, I really don't know. Um, I got to find a 92. I got to find a 92. And then I'm on my way, on my way, on my way. All right, all right. Excuse me, how you doing? Her boyfriend's gonna kill me. I'm gonna flirt anyway. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> nope, I wasn't flirting. Not me, says I. Oh, there we go. Hey, should I run across the end or the, um, the road? Nah, I'm just gonna go. Be a good boy. Oh, look at the good boy. All right, guys. Uh, when I make some farther progress, I will get back to y'all. I'm actually going about to be in the public library of Lancaster, California. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace, love, stay true, and be happy. Don't ask me where I'll be for the night. I couldn't be here. I could.
Happy 